I'm Jalen Robinson and I'm a sophomore at Booker T. Washington High School. I heard about Kip through a friend and her mother. She had told me about uh, Mr. House and she had told me that she wanted to call him and, and um, be um, one of the uh, students there. In fourth grade, I was thinking about college because I knew that's where I had to go in order to become a doctor. That's all she talked about, going to KIPP. She was determined to go to that school. Being a founding fifth grader at KIPP, the hardest adjustment for me was staying in school till five o'clock and going to school on Saturdays and going to school in the summer. Many of the obstacles that were put forth in my life taught me how to, you know, stay focused and not let anything discourage me. You know, things weren't always great at home. The bills weren't always paid. I could always go into Mr. House's office. Oh, she just thought the world of Mr. House. The best advice that Mr. House gave me was to never let anything let you down and keep you from doing what you're supposed to do. The biggest lesson that I learned with being a KIPP student is that you always have to be dedicated in what you do. If I didn't have dedication in becoming a doctor, then I'd probably be in you know, trouble. I made the commitment because I knew that it would better help me become what I wanted to become in life, which is a OBGYN. I'm looking forward to graduating from high school and going to the college of my choice. The, the trip to um, Atlanta that Kip provided, it really helped her to decide where you know she really wanted to go. The community should really keep Kip Tulsa open because it really helps North Tulsa students out in their education and helps them, you know, mature and get ready for college and adulthood. And with the first class from KIPP graduates from high school, you know, they'll see those numbers of graduating students go up because of KIPP Tulsa. All kids can learn. It doesn't matter where you come from, whether you're from North Tulsa, South Tulsa, East Tulsa, West Tulsa. You could be the poorest kid in America and still come out with a 4.0 GPA and become something. I'm Jayla Robinson, and in the year of 2013, I am going to college.